Hello, um, this is video number four. Again, my name is Bud, and uh, glad to be here. I'm going to start the stopwatch now just to make sure that we're running close to time. Oops, wrong one. Um, yeah, I actually have it set for a minute earlier so that when it goes off, I know that I have a little bit of time. If it goes twice then before I finish, then I'll know that I'm not so long, even though perhaps over the, um, um, the prescribed five or so minutes. Um, I want to talk today about uh, goals. Uh, one of the things mentioned in the Core Commitment uh, video series that you'll find on the Empower Network uh, main website for all affiliates and um, you know I've heard goals spoken of before that you really need to write them uh, you have to have you know a clear idea of just what they are something that, um, that you can really get behind yourself that will uh, sustain you when uh, things might be going a little rough and um, and you know I heard that same thing through these eight videos I finished the eight videos for the second time uh, yesterday uh, sometime yesterday and uh, like I said they <clears throat> were also encouraging uh, goals to be written uh, very well delineated uh, defined spells out and um, and um, and you know again to write them down and to read them you know go over them uh, don't just write them set them aside somewhere and then never uh, never review them again and what I thought uh, I would do, since I'm wanting to learn how to type, I set a goal for myself of typing uh, at least 140 words per minute. Um, that's the baseline. Anything above that's gravy. But um, since I am wanting to increase my typing, not only to be able to type without looking, but to type quickly and to type, you know, fluidly, easily, comfortably, um, I thought I would include uh, in that typing, um, the typing each day, the rewriting of my goals. Uh, right now I've established quarterly goals, uh, but rewriting those each day, each morning, and uh, but, but doing so, uh, typing them so that I'm practicing not only going over the goals each day but um, practicing the typing something that uh, I'm also going to be getting practice in in what in doing the um, doing the daily blogs so um, this is what is general generally referred to as collapsing time frames finding things that you can do um, of the things that you want to do or have to do um, to find ways uh, if possible to accomplish more than one thing at a time. Uh, also, I want to mention I, I found a really neat typing program. It's open source or free uh, anyway, and um, pretty nifty, uh, lightweight uh, in that it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, space in your computer, so it's um, it's pretty quick. Um, doesn't you know bog your computer down, and also. Uh, it allows you, and here's the neat neat thing about it, it allows you to put your own text in there. So uh, in my case, uh, or you know, in, in, in any other application, I could take uh, what whatever I want, you can take whatever you want, and you can put that in there, and you can practice typing that. So I have my goals uh, added in there, and um, I can type those every day, and uh, see them, review them. Um, I'm using more of my... Uh, you know, body senses uh, in doing it this way. I'm not only seeing it, uh, but you know, I'm 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 reading it as well, and I'm I'm typing um, as well. So, okay, that was the timer. That's four minutes. So uh, I want to start wrapping up. The last thing I want to say is, <clears throat> and I don't know if it just had to do with um, the core commitment uh, uh, video series that I completed a couple times. Um, I don't know if it was the um, the content of some of the videos and audios I've been watching or um, combination of all of that but I woke up this morning with this thought uh, and, and I'd like to leave this with you and that is that um, in all we do uh, and, and no less here uh, it's important that we're doing this thing these things 
for you know good reasons. Um, in my blog today, today's daily blog, I mentioned that you know money's not bad. I'm not saying that the money's bad. Um, money obviously can um, you know buy the things that need to be bought um, to provide for our family, to <clears throat> help you know our neighbors, um, friends, uh, who have you when uh, when they're in need, and um, you know they just. You know, sometimes things happen that are just outside of one's ability to deal with it, and especially if it doesn't have to do with their, you know, being irresponsible. Uh, but you know, things happen outside of uh, folks' control. They get laid off. They fall. They hurt something. Uh, they sprain something. Uh, companies dissolve. Um, you know, that's one of the motivations I think for uh, many of us. Uh, for being here is that that added degree of security but I just want to encourage you um, to consider this again this thought that I had this morning of making sure that we're here for uh, for reasons beyond the money uh, if we're here for the good reasons um, and you know that's going to differ from one person to the next but uh, I think the 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 difference in the reason that we're here is going to make the difference um, is going to be the difference between whether we stick around when going gets tough and, and nobody said that this that this uh, empower network uh, is uh, is a walk in the park that money's just gonna you know fall down from the skies into your lap uh, you are gonna have to work and there is some challenge challenging aspects uh, to this thing and um, it's the 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 good reasons that we're here uh, that is going to have us stick through and um, and uh, you know if we can do that uh, as individuals uh, as as teams within empower network um, and I have every confidence based on what I've seen so far in the little time I've been around and in the, the the little bit of exposure I've had I think that's really the heart of, of um, the leadership at empower network and, um, and, and a good many of the people who've, um, who've aligned uh, with them. So, again, um, I'll leave you with that, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.